All right, then uh, welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question. We need the zero. Let me read out the question for you. There is an array A consisting of non-negative integers, so only positive integers, uh, zero and positive. You can choose an integer x. You can choose an integer x and denote b i equals to a i. And this operation, this is a, okay, XOR operation. A i x XOR, uh, a i XOR x for all i uh, one to n. So basically, uh, pick a value x and XOR it uh, with all the elements of a. Right, that's what it's doing. Is it possible to choose such a such a number x that the value of expression b1 or b2 or bn equals to zero? It can be shown that if a valid number x exists, there also exists x such that uh, x greater than equals to zero less than two power eight. Okay, fine. So what this is asking is you have a they have given you an array a they given an array a so array elements uh, lie from a i where i belongs to one to n. Okay, and now they are asking is is uh, there a number x? Is there a number x in this range? Is there a number x possible such that such that I obtain a new array a b? How b i equals to a i zor x i and and uh, zor of all the elements of b is equal to zero. What they are asking is uh, you are given an array a of non-negative integers. You are given an array a which has positive numbers or zero, and they are asking is there a number x possible such that such that First, you obtain a array b out of it. First, you obtain array b out of it, and those are all the elements of b, and uh, it should be equal to zero, right? So that is the question. And for each test case, print integer x, uh, print integer x if it exists or minus one otherwise. So the question is simple. Let me just uh, quickly rewrite the question for you. We are given an array a here. Now they are asking whether a number x exists, whether a number x exists in this range, zero to two power eight, such that, such that you can first get an array b from it. How do you get array b from it? Array b is like this. B i is defined as a i zor x. So basically, you, you need to find a number x such that uh, such that after zoring, after zoring this x with all the elements of a, you get another array, this b, and and b1 zor, b2 zor, b3, so on, b n is equal to zero. Right. So the question boils down to can you find this x such that First, I'm going to convert a to b by zoring x to every individual element of a, and and zor of all the all the elements of this new array becomes zero. Is it possible? Let's see. Uh, if it is possible, print that number x. Otherwise, minus one. Okay. So, how do you think about this question? Now, by just looking at these numbers and all, won't make much sense. So, what you can do is you can just uh, take uh, small examples. For example, let's say what if my array had uh, five elements? What if my array had uh, six elements? Right. So. In the end, our hunt is for this number x. Our modus operandi is find this number x. Uh, and what is our modus operandi? How how should what is the property of this number such that uh, in this case, let's say in this case, what we want is uh, what we want is b1 zor, b2 zor, b3 zor, b4 zor, b5 is equals to zero. And how is this uh, b1, b2, b3 defined? How is b1, b2, b3 defined? So bi b i is defined as a i zor x. So let me just write it down. So b1 is defined as a1 zor x zor b2 is defined a2 zor x zor b3 is defined a3 zor x b4 is defined a4 zor x okay a4 zor x and b5 is defined a5 zor x. Now here is an important thing that we need to note here that uh, there are some properties about zor that you should be familiar with. Uh, firstly, I will come back to this n equals to six case after a while. So right now, let's just keep it here. And uh, there are some important properties of zor. If you have a number, let's say p, okay, when you perform a zor between p, it becomes zero. Why is this? Uh, why is this the case? Is because uh, zor of same numbers, zor of same numbers is always zero. So zero zor zero, one zor zero, both are zero. And uh, Basically, this I guess you know, right? If you are watching this video, you should be knowing this. Zero or one is one, and one or zero is one. So this property is uh, I hope you are familiar with. That if you zor the number, uh, if you zor the number, if you zor the number that set, then it gives you zero. And uh, zero or zero is one. So basically, zor between two numbers, bitwise zor between two numbers is one. If and only if, uh, if and only if one of them is one. Okay. If and only if uh, one of them is one, not both. If both are same, then it gives zero. And uh, From this, we can directly get this, right? We can directly get this. That zor of two same numbers is zero, right? Uh, why is that? Because every bit will be same, right? Like corresponding bits between p and p, we have to zor between them. Everything will be equal to zero. 
right and one more thing uh, zor is a uh, uh, commutative as well commutative in the sense if you have p zor q it is actually same as q zor p right q zor p so it is commutative and uh, also it is associative associative in the sense if we have p zor q zor r it you can either uh, first compute pq and then r or you can first compute qr and then pq so that's that so we can flip this basically uh, we can flip the order we can flip the order or decide to perform first uh, this and then this so these are the properties of zor i guess you this you should have studied in your plus 2 but the idea is uh, i want to simplify this equation here right okay where are we basically uh, i have a area of five elements and i want to find a x so that so that b1 zor b2 zor so on b5 zero and what is this b1 what is this b1 this b1 is defined like this a1 zor x a2 zor x a3 zor x so on so using this properties of zor using this properties of zor that i just told you so just look at this properties using this properties what you can get is what you can do is collect all the x together so it will be a1 zor a2 zor a3 zor a4 zor a5 okay zor x zor x zor x zor x zor x five times right one two three four five times so by this property by this property you can eliminate this four by this eliminate this four so this will become zero so it will become zero zor x this will become zero zor x and uh, there is a i guess this property is also there that if you have a number let's say p and you zor it with the zero same p is returned uh, why this happens is because Now, if you have a zero, uh, let's say if you have a zero here, whichever uh, bit you zor it, it becomes it. So basically, if you do zero or zero, it becomes zero, and uh, if you do one or zero, it becomes one. So that's why if you do x or zero, x is returned because the bits are not changed. If you uh, zor one with zero, it is still one. If you zor zero with zero, it's still zero. So the bits don't change here. That's why uh, this evaluates to x. Anyway, so what we got here, what we got here, this simplified to basically zor of a i. zor of ai basically zor of all the elements of my ai zor x right this is what it simplified to right so in the end this part this part is simply zor of all the all the array elements and this i simplified to simply x now my job is i want to find an x which uh, makes this term zero how do you do it uh, when can this term be zero when can this entire term be zero when can this term entire term be zero when both of these are equal right when both of these are equal So in this case, if so, and can this be zero if both of them are same? So basically, this can be zero if x is equals to this, right? So basically, if x is equals to zor of zor of all the array elements, then uh, yeah, then you can get basically b1 zor, b2 zor, b5 to be zero, right? Uh, this was the case uh, when n was five, right? So if n was five, I could just uh, zor all the array elements, and that would be my x. Why? Because If uh, x is zor of a i, if x is zor of a i, then eventually uh, this entire thing, this entire thing, this entire thing first simplifies to this, and after this it simplifies to this. And to make this zero, x has to be equal to zor of a i. So, okay, so we saw the case for n equals to five. Now it's also again very simple thing to observe. The same will hold true for n equals to seven, n equals to nine, and any odd number, right? Uh, because what will happen is there will be like for n equals to seven, there will be two more terms added here. A6, uh, A6 and A5, right? So I guess it should be A5 here, right? So there will be just two more terms added here. So this is A5 if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Okay. So there will be just uh, two more terms that will be added. So this it is very easy to observe that the same thing will hold true for all the odd numbers. That is, that is, if x is equals to zor of AI, x equals to zor of AI, then this expression can be evaluated to zero, right? Because you'll always be left out, you'll like basically you'll always be left out when you simplify this. You'll always be left out with two things: zor of all the array elements and x itself, right? Because the even the even pairs of x will cancel each other up, and eventually you'll left with zero zor x, uh, zero zor x, and the zor of all elements. Now to make this entire thing zero, x has to be made equal to zor of i. So this is the case for when n is odd. Now let's just see an example when n is even. So let's take an example. For example, n equals to six. So basically, we want to make this term zero. B1 zor, B2 zor, so on. And I'm not going to waste your time and write the entire thing because we already seen it once. B6 equals to zero. That's what we want, right? So basically, what we want is A1 zor x zor, A2 zor x, so on, so on. A6 zor x should be turned into zero, right? We want to turn this into zero. So 
if you take it out again it will be even zor by applying the properties of zor that we discussed associ associativity commutativity even a2 a3 so on a6 okay zor x zor x x zor x so on this will happen six times now here you can see we have exactly even pairs like we will be will have like uh, distributed equally among pairs so if there is six times there will be three pairs if there are eight times then there will be eight pairs so this entire thing this entire thing will be evaluated to zero right this entire thing will be evaluated to zero so this entire thing is actually zero now so what remains is effectively even zor a2 or i should simply write zor of zor of ai basically zor of all the elements so this expression when n is even this expression when n is even is independent of x so irrespective of what well what x value take it always gives or of ai right so what we want we want to select an x such that this expression becomes zero but this expression is not depending on x right so for this expression to be zero zor of ai has to be zero and then you can pick any arbitrary value of x if this thing is not zero you cannot pick any value of x because this expression is not depending on x itself right so let me write the pseudo code here let me write the pseudo code here so this is the pseudo code basically i have written it if n is odd n is odd we know that the expression evaluates to the expression evaluates to zor of the expression that we have evaluates to zor of ai zor x so to make this zero x has to be chosen zor of all the elements right simple but x is even x is even the expression evaluates to the expression we had for bi zor so on right so basically the zor of all the b's it evaluates to simply zor of ai so it is not depending on x so for when n equals to even when n is even basically it just depends whether the zor of all the elements is zero or not if the zor of all the elements is zero anyway you can pick any x you can pick any x but the zor of all elements is zero you cannot make it you cannot make it because there's no other way it's the expression doesn't depend on x it can only be made zero if the zor of all the elements become zero so yeah that's the basically idea that we found out so and yeah it it actually satisfies the constraints as well like 0 to 2 power 8 uh, right so this exp this constraint will also be followed uh, because the elements are in this range right the elements are in this range so this constraint of x will also be followed anyway in case of even you just need to check zor of all elements right so zor of all elements need to be checked and uh, yeah so that's that uh, why do you think uh, this is always followed by the way so the bit for 2 power 8 the bit for 2 power 8 is never set for ai right a bit for 2 power 8 is never set for ai so you can be sure that the bit for x will also never be set right a bit will be set for zor a bit will be set for zor even on like If a bit has to be set for zor, uh, one of the bit has to be one, right? But you sure that none of the AIs has a bit of two power eight set. So basically, if x exists, x exists in this case, like in case of odd, it has to be less than two power eight. Okay, greater than equal to zero, less than two power eight. And in this case, anyway, if the zor of all the array elements is uh, zero, then only you can get it. Just put any arbitrary value of x. Let's say zero. Whatever doesn't really make sense. Uh, doesn't matter here, right? So any arbitrary value of x works. So yeah, that's that. Let's uh, quickly code it up. All right, then um, let's uh, quickly code up the solution. I'll just take the input. So, so first line was like test case input, then n, and there itself. I list then n i plus plus c n area of i, and so there input is done. Now what I need is a uh, irrespective of whether n is odd or even, I'll need to anyway calculate this odd, right? So and then we know if n is odd, then we can just uh, mm -hmm. if n is odd, we can just print this odd sum because that that will be the value of x uh, for which uh, we'll get. Uh, we'll get basically the this expression's uh, value to be zero, right? So anyway, uh, I'll need the zor sum of the entire array. So I'll just calculate it. So we discussed accumulate, right, in one of the videos. So of course uh, you can use a for loop, but I want to show you how can you write a better code using a STL. So I want to calculate zor of all the elements, right? So when we discussed accumulate, I told you that accumulate is not just used to calculate the sum of all the array elements we can also use it to different kind of stuff maybe product of all the array elements and then uh, maybe subtract all the elements with some starting value so this is how we use accumulate right we used uh, this uh, construct array err ar dot begin err dot end zero so basically this sums up all the array elements uh, and the starting value taken is zero so zero plus a1 plus a2 so on till an is done but now what i want i don't want to sum i want to actually apply zor so i'll write here std bit zor of int so this is a i guess uh, if i'm not uh, messing the c++ concept so this is you can say a function object which represents uh, the zor operation so basically if you write this bit zor of int then it's going to apply the zor function over all the array elements starting from zero right so this is going to basically consume this is going to compute the zor sum okay so that's what it's going to do maybe i'll just adjust the size a little bit 
yeah so this is what uh, this is gonna do so this part you are familiar with right we already discussed it but if you just specify operation like std bits or int so here if your data type is long long you can use specify a long long but right now we are dealing with int so int and then this so yeah so that's that so this is gonna compute the zor of all the other elements now the rest part you already know if uh, n is odd uh, if n is odd then what is the value of x the value of x will be simply zor sum right? so this we already discussed let's uh, not waste our time here else now when n is even what do you need to make sure you need to make sure that the zor sum itself is zero zor sum itself is zero and then any arbitrary value of x works so i'll just maybe just write zero you're right fine any arbitrary value works else it's never possible so i'll just see out the see out minus one new line right so i guess uh, that's that so array input uh, i took the array input here i calculated zor of all the elements so this was something new for you right and then uh, i checked if n is odd then x has to be zor sum some zor of all their elements otherwise the zor sum has to be zero so this i have to write equal equals to right zor sum has to be zero then any arbitrary value of x works otherwise just minus one right so i guess this should work let me just clear run it Let's see, six uh, zero zero minus one one. Fine. So in this case, uh, at least uh, when, yeah. So this management should come here. Fine. So yeah, it looks fine. Let me just quickly submit it. Yeah, it works. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.